In this video, we take strings to the next level with the format function. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So one way, you know, you could print a string is to just be like print Nathan is 34 years old and 70 inches tall. You do that, you get the sentence you're hoping to get. Now, this isn't very flexible, obviously, because what if I wanted to print this same type of sentence for somebody else that's a different age and a different height and different name. So we need to, we need to do something about this, right? So one thing, of course, we could go ahead and do is assign some different variables. So name equals to Nathan, height equals to, or we'll do age first, age equals to, and that's a number, 34. And then height equals to 70. So, okay, we got our variables up here and we could of course assign different names and ages and heights and everything to these variables or we could put them in a list and all sorts of different things we could go ahead and do here. Uh, so, but how do we get these variables into this sentence here? Well, we could go ahead and do like name and then we could plus is and basically create it, like force create it like this age and then quotes 34 years old and I forgot my pluses, plus, plus and 70, 70 plus height, plus, plus something like that. And we got a can only concatenate string, not int, because int or age and height are ints. So we could do string and basically convert age and height into strings. So we can go ahead and concat and boom. Just like that, we have our sentence, Nathan is 34 years old and 70 inches tall. But of course, this looks funky. It's complicated, confusing, confusing hard to read, etc. So there's got to be a better way. And there is. So we got print and we could do these squirrely brackets. Print squirrely brackets is squirrely brackets. And I forgot my, my quotes here, print. So we put it in quotes. So squirrely brackets is blank years old and squirrely brackets inches, inches tall. And then we use this function called the format function. So we dot, do dot format, and then we throw in our variables here. So name, age, height, run it. And boom, just like that, we have our sentence again. Nathan is 34 years old and 70 inches tall. And it's a lot cleaner, easier to read, easier to understand. We don't have to worry about uh, converting the age and the height to strings to concatenate it into a sentence and so on. So as you can tell, this format function is very helpful to keep things clean and neat. You will likely use it a lot when using strings and variables and things of that nature. And that's it for this video. I just wanted to cover this format function because it is very important to understand. Basically, anywhere you put these squirrely brackets, uh, a variable is gonna pop in to that position in the order that you put it in. So hopefully that makes some sense. And if you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.